with Chief Meteorologist Joe Winters. 86 days, that's how long it is for Christmas. 86 oh, days. All right. Less shopping than you had last week, Jim. Oh, <laughs> that's right. I got to give gifts, don't I? Get things started. Right, we expect okay. them. We'll look, be looking forward to those. Hey, don't forget tonight, we always look forward to Weather Now, our live weather streaming show tonight. There'll be an in-depth look at uh, what happened to Hurricane Helene. The next nine, the Weather Rewind tonight, Corey takes a look back at the formation of the Iowa Weather Service. And of course, we'll have your forecast for fun, streaming every night, 6.30, Monday through Friday on KCRG's YouTube channel, on our apps, or of course, at KCRG.com. Hope to see you there. Now we take a look at your first alert right now. We do notice one highlight. It is wind. It will be a bit stronger tomorrow as that front moves through the area and that cooler air does move in for a day. Occasional wind gusts greater than 20 at times. Could see a 30 mile an hour gust certainly and that's between about 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. So that possibility will be there. Keep that in mind. There's the front itself. As you can see behind it, we have those isobars a little closer together with that area of high pressure back off across the plains. Again, that just indicates the stronger wind as that front moves through later this evening and into tonight, we'll notice that wind shift occur. When does it move in? Well, by midnight, most of us certainly see that northerly wind, the exception down toward far southeastern Iowa. That will move out of the area, and then we're stuck with some northerly winds tomorrow. Looks like we will see a sunny to partly cloudy sky at times. We do see a few clouds rolling in. That's with us then as we head into the evening hours as well tomorrow. But notice what happens by Wednesday. That's how quick it changes. The northerly winds become a southerly wind, and we already start another warm-up that will take us into Thursday. Overnight tonight, normal low is around 46. We'll be in the mid to upper 40s in the northeast, uh, down in our southern zone, some mid 50s, partly cloudy skies, your first alert forecast for tomorrow at times as well. North winds at 10 to 20. Upper 60s are northeast zone, 69 in Cedar Rapids tomorrow, 70 in Iowa City and Washington. That's about where we should be for this time of the year, but as we said, it doesn't last. But look what happens to the muggy meter. We saw dew points today near 60 degrees. 30s for dew points the next couple of nights, a little up on Thursday to 50, and then down in the 40s. So we're not dealing with some humidity, despite the fact that we are dealing with some very warm conditions out there today the humidest humidest day of the week watch our dry start to october you can see eastern iowa and yeah, there may be at times we'll deal with some clouds here or there as we head through the week but all in all there's a bit of southerly airflow that takes us into thursday and guess what friday no storm systems moving through keeping us dry as well here's a look at our nine day forecast there you go 69 to start october all the way up to 76 on wednesday up to 81 degrees on thursday we warm fast as we see the sunshine and the southern winds head into the weekend looks really nice but it does look <laughs> above normal once again with highs in the upper 70s overnight lows down in the 40s and 50s so it's comfortable yeah by san diego yes. standards but not by um iowa fall standards right love it. um oh, at I least it. uh through mid-october i think uh this pattern continues at I least i was gonna say at least it's not 80s and 90s like upper 70s i love it all nice you love 80s and 90s? I don't mind them at all. You like the 20 below? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, just checking. Right. You said you loved it all. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I love 20 below if I'm inside with <laughs> a fireplace. Thank you. Yeah, That's I'll fine. I'm fine. That. Okay.